Let me read this next story, which is a little creepy, folks. <laughs> Brace for impact. This is not fake news. This is a real story. Democrats want to monitor your text and use aggressive fact checkers to dispel vaccine misinformation reports claims. This is the Daily Mail story. The Biden administration is planning to ramp up efforts to combat vaccine uh, misinformation in areas where vaccination rates are lagging and COVID cases are rising, according to reports. The DNC is considering working with SMS companies to vet texts uh, text and send messages directly to Americans to stop the spread of inaccurate information. The party organization is also reportedly considering employing aggressive fact checkers to monitor communication in a planning of drawn furious pushback from conservatives. The Biden administration officials are now looking at the next step as 91 million people remain unvaccinated and 43 states are seeing an increase in COVID infections in the last week as data variants, Delta variants causes cases to spike. <laughs> Aggressive fact checkers. I mean, could there be a more scary phrase out there? I mean, I don't know. It's it's one of those stories that seems made up. I have some notes. I'm going to find them here in one second. Uh, you know, I thought I I spent four years being told by every liberal that I know that Donald Trump was this outrageous dictator. Yet they absolutely have lost their voice when it comes to Joe Biden wanting to read our texts, our emails, and sending people door to door to stab us with some mixed some mystery juice. I I, I don't. Uh, I'd, I'd love for them yeah. to find their their uh, their fear of of autocratic tyranny again I, I you know this this idea that we were living on on the brink of fascism but uh you know they're reading your text for your own good don't worry about it these people are nuts man you know who's driving this because if joe biden was president say when clinton was president if he became president in 1992 mm -hmm. he wouldn't be doing this stuff right i don't mm -hmm. think i don't know how many original thoughts joe biden has right now yeah. any real vision where is it coming from? Yeah. Is, is there a group? Is there one person? Is it two? Is it five? Is it the radicals? Is it? I don't know, man. I, I don't know. You know, but the, the way that they just outright lie also now with no consequence. It, it, you know, I, I said it the last time I was on the podcast, but the, it, I, I only can hear every time I hear Jen Psaki talk, I just hear Alexander Solzhenitsyn from the, the, the Gulag Archipelago. We know that they're lying. <laughs> they know that we know that they're lying. We know that they know that we know that they're lying, and yet they still lie. She says on one day, we are telling Facebook, we are helping Facebook flag uh, dangerously misinformed posts. And then the next day she goes, we're not having any posts taken down. What are you talking about? Where did you get that information? Two days, back to back, she made those claims. And it's like, my God. What what this right. is coming from the White House? The White House is saying we're working with a private company to censor information that we don't like, and then the next day she just flat out denies that they're doing it to the press, and the press don't push her on it. I don't understand what's happening. By, here. by the way, Political wrote this article originally. USA Today responded saying the fact that this is not a true story, but they're not saying that it's not a true story. They're saying it's a. Uh, 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 fact check, Biden doesn't want to monitor private text for vaccine uh, misinformation. This is a USA Today story. Biden wants phone companies to monitor the people text for vaccination, the claim. And they're answering it that it's not. Now, I'm going to put the story below. Kai, if you can pull the story up, our rating. Based on the recent claim, Biden phone, phone companies to monitor the people's vaccine. So uh, USA Today, type in USA Today, SMS, text. Go to it, and I'll read the story at the end. Uh, I think it's if we all right track it together. Uh, SMS, text Biden. Just put SMS, text Biden. Mm. And uh, let me see if it comes up. Okay, the, go, go to that one and go all the way to the bottom. Let's read it together. Can you make the screen bigger so the audience can see this rather than seeing us? Okay, so if you go to the story all the way in the bottom, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, a little bit higher, a little bit higher, right there. Okay, no, a little higher, a little higher. Okay, our ratings false. Our rating false. Based on our research, the claim that Biden wants phone companies monitor the people text for vaccination false. This is a misinterpretation of uh, Kai. What are you doing, Kai? This is a, a misinterpretation. This is a misinterpretation of people. Uh, Kai, just stop doing what you're doing, buddy. Oh my gosh, don't touch the computer. This is a misinterpretation of DNC's effort to report disinformation. Uh, a spokesperson from the DNC said it has no ability to monitor private text messages and said that the DNC shares instances of possible term of use of violation reported by the public to the SMS API companies. The Biden administration is not involved. <laughs> I don't know how that means fact, by the way. Go a little higher to read the dates. Uh, what does that say on the bottom? No, the other way. The other way. Go. Uh, okay, got it. So, I, look, I don't know if it's saying if it's not or it is. That so, was basically trust me, bro. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what that sounded like. That's what that sounded it's like. It's a trial I, balloon. How much outrage is there going to be? Because yeah. if it's not too big, then we'll actually but, do by, it. By the, here's a question for you guys. Here's a question for you. What's such a big deal? 
What's such a big deal if they check your text? Huh? He- hear me out. They're, if they're all, you don't think they're checking stuff on social? You don't think they're checking stuff on Facebook? You don't think they're checking stuff on Twitter? You don't think they're checking stuff on YouTube? What's next? Next is text. What, why are you surprised? If they're trying to impose to do that, why are you surprised? I'm not saying support it and do it. But why are you surprised that they would try to reach to go to text? I, just because it, it's a one-on-one communication and you would anticipate it be a little what bit is more DM? private? What is DM? What's what private? is Facebook DM? Well, there's one thing that you publish and there's another, then another thing that, that's private. Imagine yeah. if like every draft, your first draft went public. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's you. There's what you put out into the world. Yeah, I'm not surprised though. I'm not saying you should be surprised. Yeah. It doesn't make it doesn't make it right. I never said it makes yeah. it right. I never said it makes it right. So we should push back on things that are wrong, shouldn't we? I mean, hundred percent, a hundred percent, one hundred percent. But I'm not surprised that they're trying to go there next. Are, do you have do you have fear or anxiety at all about the, you know, how they're starting to say the loud the, the quiet parts out loud, how the surveillance you know state has basically been exposed, and that, you know, we are we are a proxy to our. You, whether whether you want to believe it's the NSA, the CIA, the uh, the Homeland Security, I mean they they're really running the ship here. You really believe they're not tracking stuff? Of course they are. So, but, but now they're doing it publicly. No, no, I get that. You really believe that they're saying we're not doing that? Snowden talked about this how many years ago? Yeah. So you don't think no. the certain words are being followed? Like we have an SMS system, right? That we send messages out. We have the ability to have you text a word that sends a any report Code. back to you, a PDF back to you, it's automated, and we send a PDF back to you. You don't think they have the technology to look at 20 keywords to see what that conversation sounds like? The, the Patriot Act is such an abomination. It, it stands uh, against we everything. We talked about it with Giuliani. It's it's an abomination. Yeah. And he he was a proponent of it, and now he's a critic of it. It's, it's, it's a, no yeah. fun when the rabbits got it, right? Wow. But, if Flip, you're, huh? if you're, well, right now you're an American citizen. You're mo- maybe the most pro-American guy I've ever met. If you have a third cousin in Iran or from, or, or or in Syria, and they're doing something nefarious, somebody that you've never met in your life, you are now exposed to the FISA courts. They can they can tap you. They can have war- warrantless wiretaps on you because you're two steps away from from a target. That's that's asinine, man. We we have to have some semblance of privacy, and privacy is freedom, right? Like we can't we can't just allow these guys to be in our lives at all times, especially if it's AI flagging us, right? Can we? I mean, am I the only guy? No, that's, I'm with you, 100. I mean, percent We're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. I, we're, we're, I have a question for you guys, yeah. if I may. So earlier we spoke please about. Don't, please uh, don't. Please don't raise your voice just to have more power over us. <laughs> Lower your audio 10 percent instead of screaming at us the way you just did. Like, go ahead, voice Sorry. of God. So, uh, <laughs> so we spoke about how important. By cell the way, phones why are. don't you do the first three lines of your song? Go ahead, do no, it. No, on. Jason, do the first I three. I can't do it right you, now. Do two of them. Do no, two. right now. I need David, the guitar. I need the guitar. Go grab it. No, go. Not, matter of fact, mind, I'm you're, not, you're not going to ask the question. If you're going to do that, go get the guitar for him, Kai. You go do that. He's going to do it live. No, three. We got, I, we got 20 minutes. No, no, no. Go grab. <laughs> Kai, I'm telling you, go grab it's the guitar. No, 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 let's, let's, we'll do it for the next one. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Go grab the guitar. Go grab the guitar. And then you can ask your question. Well, I want to know your question. No, I, know your, I forgot it. No, nah, we're not working. That, <laughs> this environment is a pressure type of environment. Go get it. All right, let's continue. I raise my voice. No, no, no. Can you see this getting pulled back at all, or are we too far to the edge? Do you see the world ever? Are we just going to have to become cognizant of? No, we're not. It's not going to be. People, We're not wired that way. Look. We are wired to be able to sin and choose not to sin. We are not wired to be robots, none of us. We are wired to make mistakes. Whenever in a relationship, in a parent relationship, in a marriage, in a friendship, in a work environment, it gets to the point where you're walking on eggshells, it creates such an environment of anxiety and panic that people start doing crazy stuff. Mm. You cannot do that long term. It is not a sustainable model. History has proven when you do this for too long, people eventually snap, and it's not a pretty snap when they do. So it's not gonna be a pretty thing for them long term. You cannot, you cannot mess with this part. I have to have the freedom to sin. My kids, if I tell them don't do it, here's how my daughter is, okay? I'll say, I'm not even kidding with you. Here's her wiring. I'll say, Senna, don't touch the what do you call it the uh, the roll control the, no no the the slinky. whatever it's not slinky the slimy stuff oh, okay. like. i'm like senna put the slime ball down she goes like this 
<laughs> she just has to do it. So what do you do? I'll tell Tico, Tico, stop kicking your brother. He has to do it one more time. He just kicks him one more time. Dylan, stop hitting my back. He just taps it one more time. <laughs> I mean, we're like that. Yeah. It's just like, you know, so what are you going to do if you tell him don't do that? I mean, they're going to do it. So <laughs> we don't change from being kids. So the, the game plan for me is the following. I'm going to treat you so good. I'm going to be respectful to you. I'm going to bring value to you that you want in your life. I'm going to treat you so well that you want, you want to stay my client for a long time. I'm going to take care of you that you want to stay with me as an audience. I'm going to be fa- – that's the only way. When you do it this way, history doesn't favor yeah. people like mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. Yep, plenty of examples. By, by the way, this does not mean America cannot lose everything it has. I didn't say that. I never said that. This de- let, let, me, let me straighten that part out. This doesn't mean America cannot lose all its freedom it has. This doesn't mean that. This only means that if America does, another America is going to pop up. That's what this means. I interviewed the guy from 2034. What is him? Elliot a- Ackerman? I think his name is Elliot Ackerman. The guy's got a purple heart, silver. He's got everything, right? He said, history tells us that empires tend to self-destruct at 250 years. Where are we at right now? <laughs> Oof. Oh, God. Where are we at Oof. right now? You know where <laughs> we're at? 249? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, just do the math. 1776 uh, plus 250 is what? 240? There you go. No. Give or take. So 1776 is what? Plus, uh, uh, what, what is it it's actually? 245. 245. 245. we got five more years to go. <laughs> self-destruct. He says that. Empires at 250 self-destruct. We're still a baby. So if you enjoyed this little segment from the podcast, click over here to watch the entire podcast. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Take care, everybody.